the castle, home stadium of Sparta Rotterdam, the oldest professional football club in the Netherlands. Sparta is the first club in Europe to work with Insight K1, the brand new football performance and analysis system from Gen.G Technologies that helps coaches with real-time fitness and tactical data. Gen.G's Insight K1 system revolutionizes football clubs at all levels and ages. Here's how it works. Gen.G Insight K1 portable stands are easily installed and together create an internal network based on the high-speed transmission UWB technology that guarantees players positioning data that is accurate to the centimeter. Today we will use six portable stands for this 11 versus 11 match, but other combinations are possible. Match ball level rated playing balls carrying a chip inside are connected to the network. The balls must be charged before the match. On to the trackers. Every player is outfitted with an arm brace with a tracker inside. All the trackers are connected to our network, providing each individual player with his own ID in the system. Meanwhile, the coach explains his tactical plan to the players. So what we expect is that we're going to play a lot on their half, a lot of movement in front of the ball to speed up the game one or two touches. An assistant outfits the players with the trackers. Insight K1 accurately monitors heart rate, VO2 max and running speed data, distance, accuracy of pass completion and many other fitness and tactical variables are available. The coach can analyze his players with real-time trajectory motion data during the match and immediately after the match use a detailed match report. Today's match, Sparta's youth under 17 versus a team of regional talents selected by the Dutch FA. Both teams wear the trackers. The Sparta coach will use the data to analyze and instruct his team during the match. The K1 system shows live that Sparta only plays 1% on the left side of the field. And hun zijn heel erg uit elkaar, dus hier ligt heel veel ruimte. Nu moet je benutten, want nu is het een beetje aan het gelijk trekken. The coach is able to immediately respond to this incoming data. He shifts his strategy and advises his players to increase attacks on the left side of the field. It's halftime. The analysis of formation data, players' connectivity, and pass completion provides the coach with clear insight for tactical directions. The data showed us that we played a lot on the right side of the pitch. Now, after I uh, got that information, we did it more on the left side as well, what eventually made us score two goals, so that's great. In the second half, the players must play more forward, more offensive, and more from the left side of the field. The central defender also has to move more to the midfield. We will learn that by using the data, the new strategy will result in a better play for Sparta. But Insight K1 can do more. This is the training compound of the famous Sparta Youth Education, known for educating many famous players like Georgino Wijnaldum, now playing for Liverpool, and Kevin Strootman, playing for AS Roman. Former Real Madrid and national team coach Leo Bainhacker is the technical director of the club. Here in Rotterdam, Sparta uses Insight K1 for the analysis and monitoring of their youth players, starting from the age of eight years old. Today, we are using the mobile version of the system. The installation takes only five minutes.
the players of this under 11 team are already used to wearing the trackers. It only takes four minutes to outfit all the players with the arm braces. Sparta Rotterdam uses Insight K1 to determine which training intensity best suits each player. This also takes into account the growth phase in which the children find themselves. In addition, K1 is used to keep track of how the players develop in mastering the unique, attacking playing style of the Sparta youth training and the necessary technical skills, creativity, and spatial awareness. Jordan, come over. Yes, thanks, Jordan. Jordan. Okay, so looking at the stats, we see that of the passes that you play, that you don't play a lot of passes forward, so a lot of them are going backwards. Cool. So, Jorn, if, if you would like to create chances, it's very important to play as soon as possible forward. So let's try to see two or three actions playing forward within three seconds to your teammate. What do you think? Can we do that? Sure. Yes? All right, there we go. Back to the castle. Sparta wins this match 5 to 1. After the match, the analyst checks the match reports immediately. Half an hour after the match, the coach is able to evaluate the match with the data analyst and the players. If you look at the data, you can see that Argino gave uh, 33 passes in the first half with a pass completion of uh, 73%. If you see his data in the second half, he gave 48 passes with a pass completion of uh, 89%. All right. So there's a big difference between the first and the second half. So that's uh, actually uh, quite well what we discussed in the halftime break. You, um, you increased it, the second half, so that's uh, quite good, uh, Argino. If you look at the physical data of this game, you've seen that uh, Argino run over 8K. Um, if you compare this result with uh, the players of the first team, uh, you, uh, it's similar because now you played uh, 80 minutes. And normally a player in your position, a central defender, plays uh, nine and a half to ten kilometers a game. So your physical level is good. The second player was the one who showed a remarkable change because of the data. During the game I came to you and I told you we, uh, the first ten minutes we played everything over the right side. Oh. And I told you we played nothing on the le left side. So you coached your team. Um, and you see there is a big difference between the first 10 minutes and the, the of the first 15 minutes and the second 15 minutes. You can see clearly uh, the first uh, 10 minutes of the game. And uh, after I spoke to Oliver, I coached a little bit more uh, to you and your t other teammates. And you see a big difference, uh, the second part of the first half, where we um, build up much more on the left on the left side and eventually where we score the goals from the most uh, chances came from the left side and um, where you had a specific role in and uh, what you did really well so uh, yeah, i'm happy to to have this data and it's also i think really clear for you k1 insight by genji revolutionizes the future of football our easy-to-use system will enable you to track your players, develop your strategy, and grow your team.